Hi everybody, Silver Butterflies here. Today I decided to show uh, the collection of uh, men's neckties. And um, I was collecting it uh, hoping that my husband ever wear it, but he doesn't want to wear it. And um, I still was collecting it during a time of, uh, say, more than 10 years. And uh, I cannot get rid of it because it's so pretty and so valuable and I cannot sell it because I don't know how to sell properly so I decided to make a show a little video about neckties I was just doing a video in Russian and I thought so it's all over the map here I have to put it back on the spot so I do it in English vice versa from the end to the beginning so we start from here this is New York That's very nice tie. The company called Bossa. And if anyone collect ties, you can um, press like so I know that I'm not the only one, a woman who like uh, men ties and uh, collect them. Why well, I'm collecting? I just collecting for the hell of it, because they're so so pretty. Um, most of the ties are kind of out of fashion um, like in the modern style because more geometrical lines and all these squares and a little rounds is more in fashion now for the business people but back in the day uh, it was more in fashion all the speakers and all these uh, little episodes on a tie so I'll have a mixture with mostly uh, like back in the daytime so let's just keep going this one two are polka dots one is the small one is the big one first of all is uh, Cristofaro this is made of silk and second one uh, Crafton established 1853 oh, oh. so it's like it's just a company which is I never known of but it's allegedly very long time ago maybe not allegedly maybe it's true maybe I just don't know what I'm saying some of the ties are very lovely in my opinion this is Chiruti 1882 Look at this. I have a perfume of Cheruti and this is just so Cheruti style with those doves. It's like a trademark. Here this is Louis the Fourteenth hunting looks like that it's a pure silk it's a piece of art museum artifacts all silk it's so pretty I cannot get enough this is pink panther Tyrock. You tell me uh, how many people using Thai rock um, collection. Um, I know a lot of people use uh, Thai rock neckties. Here, I like the sailboats. So lovely. I see one uh, right at my balcony right now. Good thing it's summer now. Save children. Here, this is opera. Look at this loveliness of the tie. And um, you can tell. Actually, I was probably thinking it's an uh, opera singer, but actually, this is the violinist, and this is a conductor, uh, and 
this is the whole orchestra. This is not just the tie, it's like the whole story. I like the ties with the little episode or the story inside the tie. It's hard to uh, hard to believe how can someone create in such a narrow piece almost a life story. So this is, is Club International. And almost the same style, but it's a little more divine. Lan Wan, Lan Win. This is all that time of era when those designers were more in fashion than the modern designers now. This is my personal style because you see the cheetah and the flowers. That's prettiness is yes, from Sazari, Italy. So if anyone from Toronto watching me um, and you're interested in any of these pieces, you can contact me so we can talk about ties and uh, whatever I consider any offers. And we continue. Elephant theme. This is two different things. One is uh, cabochon and one is Hermes. How can you just get away from this tie? It's like one of the ties uh, you dream about it because once you wear it, you're a winner or you're a successful person or like a successful businessman. I'm sorry if it's any sound in the background, it's my computer. It's uh, <laughs> hussy. I cannot do nothing about it. I wanted to shut it up, but I am watching something very interesting simultaneously. Here. This is Gianni Versace. See the snails? And they lovely. Here. It's, uh, it's just a pleasure to touch it because it's such silk. It's like high quality silk. And uh, since we're talking about Versace, this is the gem of my collection. This is Gianni Versace necktie. I don't know when it's made, but it's such awesome tie. Probably it was made when, be, before his death, when, the <clears throat> when it was happened. See this style, purple and uh, light green. It's not even green, it's like turquoise or something. Just one second. So I'm continuing. This is like uh, Salva uh, Salvador Dali theme. But the company who made this tie is called Ralph Marlin. It's very interesting. It's like you see the art in a museum or like in uh, on somewhere in a, in a book, and then see it in a piece. It's strange, but sometimes it's cool to wear it. This one is very lovely. It's a fish of Gila Roche. Who doesn't know Gila Roche? Um, it's a very good designer, famous designer. Uh, I had a perfume from Gila Roche. I wish I have something now, I'm not sure. This one, look at this color, and it's uh, Albinoni, Italy. It's uh, becoming dark outside. It's either gonna be rain or something, but it's all of a sudden the sun uh, disappearing. Oh. That's a cell phone, That's, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just don't pay attention. So this is uh, 
Bill Blass. music here and here it's a New York scene somewhere in a park it's Nicole Miller uh, somebody selling uh, hot dogs or it's a party or something or another but it's just an episode of life again and that's what I like in ties how you can put the whole life of little episode in one little tie Here is Ralph Lauren, Polo, this is awesome collection of flowers, I like it, very summery, um, very unusual, maybe a little dated, but who cares, I like it, I think it's a cool piece for collection, same as this, okay, check this out. It's uh, Looney Tunes, those ladies. I was thinking the idea of for some businessman who wants to be a little naughty and want to put his tie on Halloween or something, or some party. This is a more businessy, and it's a tie rock. It's still there. I like it so much just the color of this elephants blue elephants in a green here Dolce and Cabana and it's very businessy uh, it's like my color right now all that little beige and peachy skin <laughs> peachy skin like me This is uh, uh, Ermen Gilio uh, Zenia. Very modest tie. You cannot even define, but it's a microscopical polka dots. With the red, same as this. And this one is two bow ties. One is Winnie the Pooh, and one is just a simple one. Is from a uh, tie rock. This is the only two uh, is bow ties I have in my collection. And one is felt. Just one second. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this is the hunting. Look at this. It's just ducks flying away look at this episode of life and the company is Litarium Firenze so this is Italian again and it's pure silk I think it's just a collectible item because it's hard to find a person who value ties as much as I do or maybe I haven't met them yet so I'm looking for those people who has who are tie collectors and check this out as I mentioned who wants uh, to talk to me about the ties you can contact me here so that's it for now more later uh, if I have something in mind I show you, uh, I, I'm more than sure I have somewhere in the house, but so far we done the whole collection too. This is how I keep them. Put this all inside, zip it and put it on my shelf. That way they always are uh, in a mint condition. All right, if you have any questions uh, or if you like it, I'll be very happy. Bye for now.